Hi there, I would like to show you today how to do a basic search on archive.org. I will be searching for ebooks using the toolbar on the home page. So once you are here and you click on the search bar, it will show you the list of available searches. I'm going with the one which is already highlighted. I will type a very generic term beards and click go. Here we are presented with 74,578 results, which is quite a lot and it's overwhelming amount of files to go through. No wonder I just put beard as a search term. You can view the files in two different ways. One is a thumbnail view, which has been set as a default view. And the second one is a list view. You can even expand the list view to show the details. I actually prefer using the thumbnail view. As I can see the preview of the files and the preview of the metadata as well, it's very useful, especially when you are checking books and images. You can sort the results by relevance, views, title, and once you hover over date archive, you can do the date published, date review, date added, and the last one is creator. I hardly ever used that one. I believe I've used once that one, date published. On the left hand side, we are presented with various filters. So let's go from top to the bottom. I am looking for ebooks, so I will mark down texts, but your search might be different. You might be looking for audio files, for movies, images, concerts, software, you name it. You can even expand that. So once I actually click text, it will filter off the other file type. And we are presented with 39,000 results from over 74,000, nearly 75,000. The next filter is availability. And I will skip availability and year for now. And I will mark down beard in topics and subjects. And getting back to the availability filter, we previously had just one entry here. Right now we are presented with two. So I'm after old books, which are always available. So I will mark down the always available and we're down to 4,800. I will skip a year as well. And here I will mark down collection, American libraries in a collection filter. I will mark down biodiversity heritage library and I'm going down to the creator. I can see the author, which I am after in this short snippet. So I will click more to expand the view and we are presented with a list and there are over 21 pages but on the first page i can see that there is the author which i'm after is john james audubon so i will mark down his name and, uh, and click apply your filters and we're down to 19 results from nearly 75,000. so once you hover your mouse over any of these let's go with the second one right click open link in a new tab. If we scroll down, we are presented with metadata. And as you see, this book is a part of multi-volume series, it's a volume five. And from these notes, we can actually get quite a lot of different informations. And that's why you, you, you will have your preferred collections, preferred organizations, which are doing the scanning. Um, once you do a few searches, you will know why. Basically, there are a few organizations which they scanning original books in their original way using high-end equipment, either scanners or cameras. And as you see down below, that uh, book has been photographed using Canon 5D. And also the, the metadata is quite important as well to, to get the proper information from here, uh, reliable information. And in some cases you get information, even very detailed ones like irregular page numbering, or some pages might not be readable or, or, or things like that. On the right hand side, we are presented with a list of download options and there are various files to, to download, whatever your needs are. If you have a Kindle, you can download a Kindle version of this uh, book or uh, an EPUB PDF, black and white PDF. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please don't forget to check the description field below as there are a lot of uh, resources which I haven't mentioned in the video and they are quite useful or they will be quite useful if you are looking for public domain works. The whole presentation is in a PDF. You can download it for your reference.
And also the second file is a list of 10 websites similar to, to archive. And also there are some other links which you might find useful. Please let me know in the comments below what do you think about my delivery as this is my first video. And also what kind of searches are you are you doing? What are you looking for on Internet Archive? Are you looking only for books, for books in public domain or maybe for videos, for audios? If you have any other ideas what kind of movies you would like to see on this channel, please let me know also. If you like the video please give a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and smash the notification bell icon so that you won't miss another video and there will be quite a lot more videos uh, regularly published on this channel with regards to public domain thank you very much for watching and i see you next time